If you get bored of the same old curly hairstyles, in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to upgrade them with very little effort. Often it's the smallest tweak that can completely upgrade the look, and some of these hairstyles might even make your hair appear thicker, longer and fuller. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, first look is this everyday bun. I'm sure we've all rocked this before. There's nothing actually wrong with it, of course, but there's so many ways you can upgrade it, especially if you're going from like a work day environment to an evening out or drinks, dinner, something like that. Before I start any of my hairstyles, I always go in with some sort of serum or oil. This really helps with frizz, but it also helps make your hair a little bit more manageable before you start pulling it in different directions. So to start this look, I'm going in with a standard ponytail first and I'm using an elastic which I'll make sure I put in the description. I'm tying it around and then I'm looping it like you see there and I'm bringing just half of the ponytail through. Then I like to take a comb with a pointy tall end. I loop it through the bun and use it to pull the bun up to my head. I then remove the comb end and put my other finger there to keep it in place against my head. And this allows me to then go in with a grip to keep it there and secure. But then I like to go in with some more bobby pin grips just to make sure that is not falling down. And it's completely secure now with one large grip and a few bobby pins. I've also experimented with accessorizing this look. I put this clip on bow there and I think it looks so cute. Or for something a bit more subtle, you could try a sliding grip like that. I think that looks so cute and is not too much if you only want like a small accessory there. Look number two. If you want to upgrade your everyday ponytail and make it look a bit longer or a bit thicker, you need to try this look. I'm going to be using a banana clip, but I'm going to show you how you can hide the sides of it and make it a lot easier to put in. Get ready to put your hair in a ponytail. I'm just pulling a few bits at the front for a little bit of volume. Putting that into a pony, don't worry about how neat this is because we're taking it out in a minute. Now take your banana clip, make sure it's one that you can tie at the top. Potentially, I think they're the most secure ones. Ones. put it around your neck and gently glide the banana clip up around the ponytail tying it at the top now you want to take the elastic out because we don't need that anymore that was just to help us get the banana clip in easily I swear it looks like I've got extensions in I promise I haven't the banana clip is just so good at making your hair look really long and if you want to look like you've got a ponytail and not a banana clip in you obviously need to hide the clip on the side so what you can do is use a bow because the bow tails is that the right word I don't know the bow tails neatly go down the side of the pony so it completely hides the clip and I just did a little bit of refreshing on the side on those little bits of hair I have out just to give it a more whimsical, messy feel. But that's up to you. Anyway, I absolutely love this look and I just can't believe how much longer it makes my hair. I see so many straight hair tutorials on really cute low buns and hardly any curly ones so I want to show you how you can upgrade this everyday low bun look. This type of look could be accessorized for a wedding, work or literally anything. It's so versatile and it's a lot easier than you might expect. I left out two bits of hair at the front, that's optional but I like to bring a little bit of hair forward for volume and we're going in with the start of a ponytail similar to the first look where we're bringing half of the hair through but this is slightly lower on the head. The reason this needs to be a little bit loose is we're creating a small hole at the top of the bun and we're filtering the bun through that hole towards your head like towards where you see that mirror in my room. Sometimes this will come out completely perfect but other times you might want to grip in tiny bits of hair to perfect it. I love how filtering the bun through like that gives you those automatic twists on the side. I really think it upgrades the look. Definitely a hairstyle which can be dressed up or down versatile for so many occasions. I don't know about you guys but I just love a half updo. They're so easy to do and so versatile 
but sometimes the ponytail for me goes very flat so what I like to do if I'm wearing it out for a long time is I put a clip underneath the ponytail and this is how I do it so I take my hair into the pony as normal I take a darker clip to blend in with my hair colour but this is optional and I split the pony in half putting the claw clip on just the bottom half meaning that top half can kind of sit over it giving it a much fuller look and it means that ponytail's not going to fall flat if you're out and about outside it honestly stays like this all day and it's not very obvious that there's a clip there. Saving my favourite until last, the messy bun. This always seems easy, like yeah, just throw your hair up. But we all know sometimes it's challenging and sometimes the bun comes out looking wonky and disproportionate. So I'm going to show you a really easy method to make it look effortlessly thrown up. So kind of making the messy bun look perfect. To make this look whimsical, I take these pieces out on the side and I'm pulling a bit of hair forward for volume. Now with my hair tie, I'm taking my hair into a higher ponytail, so just above the middle of my head, and you wanna make sure this is secure. Now with my other hair tie, I'm gathering the hair from the ponytail into a bun and I'm securing that with my hair tie but leaving some of the curl ends out. You can then use a little mirror to look at the back of your hair to see if you're happy with it and perhaps go in with some bobby pins or pull a few bits of hair out just to give it the look that you're after. If you don't feel like you've got enough volume in your hair to do this type of method, you can look at those hair donuts or hair scrunchy buns, which help get you that desired volume. I'll make sure to link it on the screen. Now I'm refreshing these side pieces. For me, they do just spring up with a little bit of curl cream, but if you want to encourage it a bit more, you can try this Denman brush trick as well, where you're wrapping the hair around the brush. I then go in and refresh any bits that are frizzy, like these little back sections. I sometimes just curl them into themselves. And there you have it, the perfect messy bun. One of my most favorite updos that I do. This is again, so versatile for so many occasions. I love how you can just dress this up, dress it down. Like I can imagine wearing literally a ball gown with this or just a sweatshirt. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video guys. I really hope you liked it and it helped you out and you found a way to upgrade some of those hairstyles you might be getting bored of. And if you liked the video guys, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot and we are growing so quickly at the minute. I absolutely love growing this little curly corner on the internet at the minute. So make sure you subscribe if you're enjoying them and I'll see you next week.